What's your favorite party? Oh, I've got a party. What? <laughs> <laughs> Still learning the track? Yep. What is it? He's got a monkey on there. <laughs> oh, let's be sure now. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie, and I'm in Monaco. First time ever. Look at this view. We're actually going to be taking a trip from Monaco to Le Mans. There's a very special guest here with us today. And actually, he's going on the entire trip with us to Le Mans this week. It's Patrick Dempsey, Mr. McDreamy himself. Now, I didn't really know this, so I'm sure a lot of you don't know either, but he is actually a massive car freak. And so we're all driving with him to Le Mans um, in order to support him and a couple of other teams as well. Tag Hoyer has brought us along. Thank you so, so much. This experience is amazing. And I've got my first watch on. The Monaco. With Monaco in the background. Not bad, hey? So this is the ladies watch. All right. Here we are at the private car collection of the Prince of Monaco. Princess Stephanie of Monaco, this is pretty cool. This is Prince Albert's uh, private collection, Prince of Monaco. You may not believe this, but this is the first time I'm seeing a Countach in person. Wow. Hi, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Good, good. You're Australian. I am. Yes, yes. Good, I'm glad it hasn't worn off because I've been out of Australia for so long. No, in Dubai. Oh, in Dubai. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, they are. Do you have some? Uh, yes, three. Three? Oh my god, I love dogs. What dogs do you have? Uh, two French Bulldogs and a, a rescue. Oh, that's so good. Uh, so wait, this is my YouTube. YouTube. In your... Okay, YouTube, yeah, so we're yeah, yeah, we're live. Well, it's nice to know that now. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, so you can tailor your words. Right, it's not a still <laughs> No, it's not, it's not. Not everyone knows you're a car guy. I mean, in the car, in the really, like, nutty car community, people know. Yes. But the wider audience, people who know you from TV, I don't think they all know that you're, like, this, you know... I uh, post a lot of cars driver. on my Instagram. Yeah. So that's sometimes it's not what they want to see. But right, like, right. Well, so if you were to combine TV and cars, would you do a TV show? Like a top here? Yeah, like a car TV show. Oh, I mean, it's so hard. Those guys are so tight. Oh, yeah. So they step in their shoes. But I mean, you've got it. You've got it. I mean, I love cars and I appreciate cars. That's it. I'm not sure I have that space. Oh, I'm not sure I have that space. I'm not sure I have that space. Yeah. Should Patrick Dempsey launch his own car show? Comment now. Right. I think it's good when you have an ensemble. Right, right, right. So you can call us. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. Well, what's, you your car? what's your daily drive? Oh, I've got a car. What? <laughs> I do. I do. It's, okay. I love it so much. I'm not really into classic. I don't know too much about classic cars, I'll be totally honest with you. But the newer supercars is kind of what I do. Okay. So how about I do the supercars? Okay. You do the actual the classics. The classics. You know, talk them through the actual details of the okay. car. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, sounds okay. good, right? Cool. Okay, deal. Let's shake on it. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, listen, we're going to talk to you tomorrow again. I don't want to take up all your time. Okay, we're going to be driving around, right? Is that you? We are heading from Monaco to Le Mans and today is the very first day. We are uh, going to be heading to the track which is about an hour and a half's drive away from here to Le Loup. Good morning. Quickly, morning. Um, which one are you driving? I'll be driving this one right here. We've got the pick of the lot, right? Yes, I, I had a great vantage point and I looked down and I was like, this one would be You targeted it. I did indeed. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so change your plan quickly because um, Patrick put his name all over the GT3 RS, <laughs> which is fair enough. Um, so I'm actually going to go in the Panamera today for the first leg. Alright, we're 
right, we've got to fix the chair a little bit so I'm not driving like a granny. Hey there. Hi. Can you move a bit forward? Forward, sure. Yeah. I can always move forward. GT3 RS up front. Patrick leading the pack. He's very charming, isn't, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. He's a lovely guy. He's got a monkey on there. <laughs> Why have you got a monkey on your car? And we're about to hit the track. Racing is basically in Tag Heuer's DNA. So um, Jack Hoyer, the great grandson of the founder of um, uh, Tag, originally Hoyer, uh, was there actually yesterday with us. And he's the one who started sponsoring motorsport. He was the very first person to uh, think of sponsoring motorsport. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that works. Hello. Hello, very shiny. Diamonds always work. Don't yeah, they? yeah, they do. <laughs> What have you got on? I've got, this is called an Octavia. So this is, uh, this they launched I think about a year and a half ago. Oh nice. Like two years ago, this this new one. It's quite nice actually. I've worn it quite a bit, so it's a bit. Have you seen, have you seen how quick Patrick's going around? No, I know. He's, He's like serious. He's serious. On it. Oh yeah. yeah. It's actually quite, you know, scary. Okay, alright, so next time I see you, I'll be screaming around the track. That's a promise. Why is it called the GT40? That's because it's 40 inches from the ground the top of the car which was regulation for the races. Mr. Hoyer getting out of the hot lap right here. Grandson of the founder of Tag Hoyer. So I'm gonna go legs first and then butt. I'm gonna sit on it. Okay, great. Mate. Yeah, that's it. it's a bit Does frustrating it on the drive out here. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, I know. I'm we're not used to this helmet face. I can't move, Patrick. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit scared, actually. Yeah. I've never been strapped in this tight. I don't know. Patrick must have something going on. <sighs> so, what kind of speeds are we gonna get up to? You I know what? I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention. I'm just still learning the track. Yep. Oh, is this the first time? Uh, yeah, I've never been oh, here. Before. Okay. Over the How was that for you? Was that, that was okay? Amazing. You know what you're doing, man. You're a real pro. <laughs> it's been that a while, amazing. but it's fun, huh? I think you got one cone, though. Just watch out for that last cone. Uh, I don't know corner. if it was uh, <laughs> was it me or him. I don't know. <laughs> just the cones away. are just always in the way anyway. I know. Why don't we just get rid of them all? <laughs> don't need cones, do you? You don't need cones. Surely not. not. All right, Patrick, thank you so much. You're a champion. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, got my racing gloves on. It's all official now. All right. Wave goodbye here. And we're going left. Yes, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be at the same side as the other one. So straight line. The first breaking point is just under here. We have only yeah. one cone now. Right, you turn at this point and you accelerate a little in this one. 
you put the car in straight line before braking. That's very good. Apex inside. So in general, in Porsche, you maintain the... <laughs> Golf who colors. Car? I don't know. Golf foiled car. Right. Yes. Yep. GT3 911 Cup car. Um, it's Gen 1, it's got 460 horsepower, rear engine, 4.5 litre engine. Okay. Yeah, 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. Paddle shift. Um, that's about it, really. On to the next thing now, we're off to Jamiroquai and we're going to meet him. It's going to be awesome. JK, we're coming for you. Behind the scenes, this is the stage right here. We're going backstage. Talking about, uh, we're talking about classic, classic. Oh, yeah, classic. Uh, you won't classic believe. Style. So, my battery just ran dead in the middle of the interview. Not an ideal, it's like my time. hat runs dead, you know. It's the same thing. Oh, yeah. So, what, what is the inspiration from the hat? It's inspired by the pangolin, the endangered yeah. animal. Okay, so the original album title was going to be Pangolin, mm -hmm. just to highlight the fact that there's a really endangered, highly endangered animal. Okay. So, we can, it kind of inspired the hat with the plates. If you see a pangolin, a real pangolin, you ah. see the sort of metal plates. Okay, so okay. It's the same thing. Pangolin. And Jamiroquai, that name, um, how long did it take you to learn to spell it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Still till today, right? Do I'm you know like, what? No, it's quite funny because, um, what did somebody say to me when I started? They said, uh, they said, how are we ever going to say, what's the name again? Nobody's going to be able to say it. I said, yeah, but when they do, they won't forget it. <laughs> it's very so true. there you go. It's very true. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to um, meet you. Hopefully we can come by and, and check out your lime yeah. green LaFerrari. Lime green LaFerrari, yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, amazing. Be such, a, such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. We're heading now to Dempsey Racing, Dempsey Proton Racing. He is actually the owner of this racing team and they're doing super, super well at the moment. You guys are in first, correct? Yes, we're uh, first in class right now. Turn around. Can I film this? Not yeah, really. You can film this. Can Turn I? Around. So, this is all the guys in there. See the gentleman right there? Yes. Yes, he's an engineer. He should be paying attention to the drivers, not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the camera, it's more important, yeah, I think. I'm, I'm the guy for a camera, not this one. Well, I know. Right? Okay, yeah. Hi, Michelin Man. You don't look like the Michelin Man. He needs a few more roles, I think, for to be a Michelin Man. You know, the Michelin Man has been doing a lot of cardio lately, and it's paying off. Yeah, I can't see any roles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never report the coffee machine. Is this what keeps you up for 24 hours? Yes. Changing the trip train is always something you have to do. And I suppose so, that's your job, right? Yes. Yeah, and then in here's where they're baking the tires. Yes. That is super cool. So, yeah, so this is for the 88 car. Tires here yep. for all of them. So what they do is they keep them up to temperature. So they they take them hot from the oven and put them on the car. So what is the temperature? I I don't know what the temperature is. That's a good question. Yeah, that's what the technician. Yeah, I should know that. You don't need to worry about it. We have to make sure we have everything we need. Yep. So we have full body kits. Yep. Replacements as of now? No, so far so good. Yes. I have to ask you because for those of us who only know you from TV, what gives you more of a thrill? Is it this or is it like lights, camera, action kind of on? Set? Oh, this does. Without question, yeah. The camaraderie is really something that I love the most in the, in the, in the guys and uh, just the, the team atmosphere. Yeah. And also the stakes are really high here. Uh, you know, it's not like you get another take. Uh, and, and there's something about that that brings everybody together. Yeah. And up and down the paddock, all with the Porsche 
teams, we all pulled together. Yeah. Um, and, and that in itself is, uh, you know, I think what means the most to me. This is the elite of the elite when it comes to endurance racing. It's the most prestigious, the most challenging, uh, and the oldest. How many uh, races did you do? I did four. That's amazing. This is my uh, eighth time here in the yeah. hall, and I competed four times. So we're rooting for you, man, and thank you so much for showing me around your garage. It's been a great week we've had together. It's been so much fun, honestly. I've, you're such, such a genuine, lovely guy, and I've just been, it's a pleasure to meet you, and I've spent some time with you.